Hello, how are you? I hope life is treating you lovely. Today's video is a little bit different. I want to tell you the personal story, my story, of how I arrived to Israel and how I arrived in front of this camera with you today. Let's get into it. So you may have seen some of my other videos and there's a chance that you've been following my channel for a while. You probably haven't, so you probably have never even seen my face before. But what will be valuable for you in this video is the story. So let us begin. My name's Claude Lee Massey. I'm a life coach and a career counselor here in Tel Aviv, Israel. But I was not born and raised here. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. As a mulatto, if any of you are mixed race, then you understand that as somebody who's mixed, there is a bit of an identity crisis. Growing up, I didn't even understand where I fit in. I grew up in a Hispanic neighborhood. I'm not Hispanic. I would go to school and I was too white and I was too black. Whoever I hung out with, I was in the wrong group. And I have always been an outsider looking in at the world. I've always felt like this. At a young age, this can be quite traumatic. So there I am, living in a really poor environment with big dreams and big hopes. And I always understood at a young age, from the age of maybe 15, 16, that I was not meant to live in the United States. It was a gut feeling I had that I knew the world was big and I knew I wanted to see the world. I never wanted to stay and live in Los Angeles. So as soon as the opportunity arose, I would move. My first move was at the age of 18. I moved to San Francisco. That didn't work. My second move was when I was 21 and I ended up moving to Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, well, you can imagine, I'm 21 years old, I'm living in Las Vegas. I partied like crazy, and at the same time, I was working for the University of Las Vegas. So I would have fun on the weekends and had a really good job during the week. It was in Las Vegas where I met my ex-wife, who is Israeli. So I'm a hopeless romantic. I fell in love, and I followed this love to Israel. And that is how I arrived to Israel over 13 years ago, was following love. So in theory, I didn't know it at the time. Certainly when I was 16, I didn't know where I would be living. But here I was at the age of 27, finding myself living in Israel. And I took a major step backwards as far as employment was concerned. When I arrived to Israel, I understood, wow, I don't even know where to look for a job. I don't know how to find a job. I don't speak the language. What do I do? I found myself working in a kitchen 14 hours a day with African immigrants and Russian immigrants. And it was so frustrating because I had come from a career in management, managing in Las Vegas, managing in Los Angeles before I even moved to Las Vegas. I was always promoted as a leader, and this is something I was very used to. However, now I'm in the kitchen, now I'm getting paid minimum wage and working very, very hard. And this is when something very powerful happened to me. I had a self-realization and I understood that I've always been a manager and a leader, and I loved it. However, which capacity was I in leadership? Where were my strengths identified by my superiors? This is what I understood. I was always being asked to teach other people. And it was something that I loved. It was my natural high. It was something I was great at. And it wasn't until I reached the age of 33 that I understood what I am good at and what I love to do. Now, it wasn't that simple because, well, I was reading Tony Robbins books and doing introspective work on myself. By the age of 33, I had already read the Torah, the Tanakh, the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Quran, the Book of Mormon, the Dhammapada, and many other religious texts. So I like to look inward and I had spent so many years from the confusing young age 
with the identity crisis, trying to understand who I was. So in essence, I started this journey of self-realization, of self-understanding, of trying to really comprehend my existence on this planet at a very young age. Reading, studying, and learning. And it was not until the age of 33, once again, that I finally found the answer. And the process was long and hard, and it took time and patience and focus. But when I arrived, the clarity was tremendous. And I understood what I wanted to do. I wanted to open my own training company. I wanted to focus on what I was good at and what I love to do. And that's training and coaching other people. So I opened my own sales training company. When I opened my sales training company, I didn't have any prospects and I had no clue whatsoever what I was doing, but I had a dream and a vision and I knew what I wanted. I had a full-time job, so I would go to work and after everybody went to sleep in the house, I would study and build coaching materials. This was something that I did for months on end. Working full-time and then putting an additional three to four hours in the middle of the night Focusing on my vision and my dream. This is what I did. Most people would relax after going to work for a full day. I didn't do that. I spent time focusing, learning, and creating materials that I knew I could use in a sales training company. And it was crazy. My phone rang one day. And I was asked by somebody who I had worked with in a managerial position, who I had been responsible for teaching and helping to grow, they contacted me and invited me to be a sales trainer at a company. This was incredible for me because I understood that I was attracting this into my life. I was now invited to work for a company as a sales trainer, earning more than I had ever earned in my life. Think about that. Focusing, studying, putting in way more effort than most people would towards a dream, literally just a dream and my phone rings and I am invited to have a job being paid more than I ever was paid. That is what I understood manifestation is. That's when I became a believer in attracting things into my life. Think about it. Up until this point in the story, I knew I was meant to live across the world and there I was, here I am, living across the world. And now, I have a dream of opening a training company and my phone rings and I'm supposed to go do some training. It's beautiful. The pieces are starting to come together. However, I am in a shitty marriage. So, I got divorced. Getting divorced is horrible. It's horrific. Break your heart into a million pieces. You feel like a failure. You feel like you did everything wrong. You tried so hard, but it didn't work. Massive disappointment in my life. And I had to deal with that. And I still do. That's what it's like to be divorced. So be careful before you get married. This was seven years ago when this event happened. And up until that point, I had a reason to be in the country. Now, even more so, I had a reason to be in the country. Except it wasn't for my ex-wife, it was for my daughter. And I'm alone in a country at that time. Just here, chasing a dream, staying here for my daughter. Think about that. Alone in a country, trying to manifest a dream as a true underdog. I'm black. There's not a lot of black people in Israel. I'm not Jewish. I barely speak Hebrew. And... I get paid more than most Israelis do. How is that possible? It's through belief in myself and understanding my personal value and understanding what environment do I have to put myself in to be considered valuable and how do I contribute maximum value inside of that environment? Think about what I just said. You today have skills. You have potential today. 
Are you putting yourself into the right room where those skills and that value is appreciated and therefore you can be remunerated financially in equivalence? Understand what I just said. And I hope the answer is yes. So fast forward till today, right now, in this video. I've written two books. I've traveled to six different countries to do training and been paid large amounts of money to do it. I've had the pleasure of working with over 3,000 people in these various countries. I've been called a life coach, a sales coach, a career coach for many years now. And I love what I do. And I've manifested this and created this from out of thin air. If you are thinking about moving to Israel, you can do it. You have to believe in yourself. You have to see yourself as valuable. And you have to be able to contribute to the Israeli society. And if you can do that, you can do anything you want anywhere in the world. But you're watching this video because you want to come to Israel. Don't be afraid. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I believe in you. Good luck.